Welcome to the Learn to Sew Academy channel. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you. This is a great beginner project. If you're a beginner and you just want to practice sewing and making straight stitches, this will be a great project for you to work on. So what I have here for this pillowcase, you cut a main fabric and you use the dimensions of 44 by 24 inches. So in other words, you can use the full length of your fabric and just fold it and then cut out 24 inches from there. And then for the top of the pillowcase, we're going to use a dimension of 12 by 44. In other words, the same way you just do 12 by the width of your fabric, 12 inches by the width of your fabric. So the first thing you want to do is you want to lay this flat like that. And then you want to open, this is the right side facing up. So you want to now open this. Taking the right side, you want to match the right side here. At this point, we're going to trim the salvage later. So right now, I'm just going to leave it like that. And then you need to pin this from one hand to the to the other. After you pin this, you now start to roll this side up. And then you bring the other side of fabric, the fabric that goes, goes on the top of the on the top of the uh, pillowcase, the upper side of it. You bring it in such a way that you want to make sure that this is out of the way. We're going to match it up with the top here because we're going to stitch that together. So you want to make sure that this is out of the way. So you want to leave some gap like so. So now you're going to remove the pins. And you're going to repin it at that particular point. Holding the three layers of fabric together now. That's what you're going to do all the way to the end. Now you go to your sewing machine and you just sew this from one end all the way to the other end using like a quarter of an inch to half an inch. You just want to sew this across. Making sure that the other, the rolled fabric is out of the way as you sew this. And you lock the hand with a back stitch. So next thing is you want to pull out this rolled edge. So you just want to come in and gently pull this out. So you have this. Next we're going to iron this out. I'm just going to cut off the salvage end real quick. You want to fold this such that the wrong side is folded together. So I'm just trying to determine this is my wrong side. So I'm going to fold it together. So in essence, you're sewing on the right side. This is because we want to do a French seam. So we're going to be sewing on the right side. So what we want to do once we have folded it into equal parts, we're going to go around and take this to the sewing machine. We're going to sew it all across like that. we we'll do a pivot right here and we sew it all across to the end. Sew it one quarter of an inch. And if you use half an inch, then you just trim it a little more. Again, remember you're sewing on the right side of the fabric. 
when you get to the end just hold it in with your needle and turn it at an angle of 90 degree and then continue sewing and lock your stitch again with a back stitch just going to tr trim this edge just a tiny bit and make sure that you don't trim too close to the stitch we just need to trim it just a little bit that's because we're going to be sewing the seam in inwards you can also use a uh, scissors to trim this I'm gonna clip this edge right here I'm gonna cut it like so just to make it easier to turn over there so now we're gonna turn this we're gonna flip it inside out make sure you push out the corners you can use the tip of your scissors but just be careful that you don't poke the fabric to make this easy to sew, I'm going to iron it down first. Next is to go to the sewing machine and we're going to sew it. We're going to sew it in such a way that we're going to make sure that this seam is not showing outside when we turn this, in, um, when we turn the right side out. And you can also feel it with your fingers, you can feel where it ends. So I'm just going to do like half an inch all across like that, all the way down and then at the bottom too, to the end. So that's what we're going to do next. So now we'll flip it right side up now. So as we, you can see we have no raw edges showing and the, on the inside too everything is concealed so you don't need to use a zigzag or an overlocking or a siding machine on this so this is all ready you just need to high on it and that's your pillowcase real simple to make all done I hope you found this helpful please leave us a thumbs up if you did all right please share this video and remember to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when we release new videos thank you